Ramata! Pane, pane, pane! A range of Western, Eastern European and Russian hand grenades have been seen used in Ukraine over the last eight months. One of these is the M67 fragmentation grenade, which are believed to have been provided by the US and Canada. The M67 evolved from the earlier M33, and the US military began to field them in 1968. Here's what the US Army had to say about the grenades in the 60s. New munitions for the combat infantrymen utilize a single explosive unit. This is the M33 hand grenade, being approximately spherical in shape. It distributes its high-velocity fragments evenly over the target area. It is anticipated that this design will be more effective than non-spherical grenades. They are produced by Day and Zimmerman, who state they have produced over 43 million. It's a spherical anti-personnel fragmentation grenade, which has a Composition B filling. Composition B is made up of an RDX and TNT mix. The M67's explosive filling weighs in at 6.5 ounces, or 180 grams. It uses the M213 fuse, which provides a 4 to 5 second delay after deployment. There is a spring clip which interacts with the spoon and safety pin. This clip has to be removed before the pin can be pulled. On detonation, the grenade's steel outer body fragments to create an injury radius of around 50 meters or 50 feet. The fragmentation is caused by scoring on the inside of the grenade's outer body. The US government has confirmed that hand grenades have indeed been provided to Ukraine, but specific mentions of them in the regular fact sheets breaking down aid have not been common since the spring when it was said that over 1 million grenade, mortar and artillery rounds had been provided. Canada has previously on the 3rd of March confirmed the supply of 7,500 hand grenades of an unspecified type. Imagery of the grenades first began to be circulated online in May, with the Azov Dnipro 98th Territorial Defence Battalion sharing several videos featuring them. In their first video they showed a couple of transit chests, each containing 30 individually packed grenades. In the video he talks about the wooden boxes that the grenades come in, and the tubes as well. Um, he opens one up, uh, describes a little bit about the history, explaining that they were introduced in the late 60s, and talks a little bit about the explosive power of the grenade and what he thinks of it. On the grenade body, we can see the lot number DAZ21CO220014. This is one of two lot numbers which have been visually confirmed in imagery from Ukraine. There are three images of grenades from this lot and five from another DAZ. 20F022-006. We'll see more from that lot in imagery coming up. And in another video they posted a few days later, they showed an M67 alongside another Western grenade, a French OF-37. We'll take a look at the OF-37 and the German DM-51 in a future video. Again, this clip shows the individual packaging of the grenade, as well as the fact that the grenade is already pre-fused when it's shipped. And on this grenade, we can see the lot number DAZ21C022-014 again. 
and this is one of three grenades that have been visually confirmed from this lot. A short video of one of the grenades was shared in late June. And in late July, the 98th Territorial Defence Battalion shared a clip showing soldiers training with live grenades. One soldier explains how to take out the safety clip and then pull the pin, and then directs the other soldier how to throw the grenade and then take cover. On the 18th of August, Valgier shared a short video showing an M67 he believed had been provided by Canada. In the video he gives some background on the grenade and his opinions, it's definitely worth checking out. An M67 and its individual packaging was shown in another video posted by a Ukrainian soldier on the 23rd of August. During the same month, several videos featuring M67s were shared by Russian forces. The first video showing off a captured example of the M67 was posted on the 3rd of August, featuring a DPR officer examining the grenade. The officer describes the grenade as a prime example of Western aid. On the 28th of August, another brief clip of a capture grenade was also shared. And this one is from the other documented lot, ending in 006. In September, the Russian YouTube channel Big Caliber Trouble published a video testing the blast effects of several grenades, including an M67. Similarly, the Ukrainian channel, Boys from the Forest, also demonstrated an M67 and a German DM-51. And most recently, several photos of M67s have been shared on social media. From the sources I've seen, it appears that Canadian-made grenades are marked with a CA prefix. So far, the grenades we've seen in photos and footage from the field all appear to have US markings. Exactly how many M67s have been provided to Ukraine and who by remains unclear, but the numbers seem likely to be in the tens of thousands. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you found the video interesting, please share it with friends, and you can also support the channel via Patreon and now through YouTube memberships as well. Supporting us gets you access to our videos early, as well as some cool perks, including stickers, postcards, and a copy of the Tab Advanced Combat Rifle Coloring Book. Don't forget to check out the playlist dedicated to the conflict in Ukraine, and head over to armorersbench.com for more. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.